What do you mean by a first order control system? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make it very easy for you. So let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by a first order control system? Well, what's one out? So we know that every control system has got a particular transfer function. So a transfer function is simply a ratio of the output divided by the input. So a particular control system is said to be a first order control system if the maximum value of the power of s is equal to 1 in the denominator of the transfer function of this particular control system. That is if we say a transfer function t of s, if we are given a particular transfer function t of s then this should have the maximum value of the power of s as 1 in the denominator, say maybe s plus 1 or s plus 2 or s plus 5. So whenever the maximum power of s is 1, it is simply said to be a first order control system. As simple as that guys, as simple as that. So therefore the basic general transfer function of a first order control system is written as t of s is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus s tau. So here the maximum power of s is 1. So therefore such kind of a control system which has got a transfer function in which the maximum power of s in the denominator is 1 is simply what you refer to as a first order control system. So a first order control system can be represented like this. So here we would have a particular input r of s and now here it has got a forward gain. So let us take the forward gain as 1 divided by s tau and now here we have the output c of s and now let us provide a unit negative feedback like so here we know for a fact that whenever a negative feedback is provided and if the negative feedback gain is h then the overall transfer function is given as t of s is equal to g divided by 1 plus g h. So here the value of g is 1 by s tau and the value of h is 1. So therefore this therefore would become this is equal to 1 divided by s tau divided by 1 plus 1 divided by s tau. So therefore on simplifying this we would get the transfer function t of s is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus s tau which is the same as this. So therefore this is how we generally represent a first order control system. As simple as that guys. So this does is simply what you refer to as a first order control system. As simple as that. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a first order control system. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.